Welcome back. Let's check out the John Deere X330. The X330 is the entry level of the X3 series mowers. Uh, this particular one uh, is a fine offering that's outfitted with a 48 inch deck. So you can get this with both a 42 or a 48 inch deck. Um, the big difference is, is that you're gonna see at the 330 level, as opposed to the 350 level, you're gonna get a Briggs & Stratton engine instead of that Kawasaki engine. So this is gonna have a 22 horsepower Briggs & Stratton engine underneath the bonnet here. So let's take a look at that bad boy. Um, very nice uh, and low vibration engine. Uh, 22 horsepower is well enough to push, you know, a 42 or a 48 inch deck. So it does a really nice job of that. Um, easy access, uh, again, just like all the John Deere equipment, very easy access, easy to maintain. I think this one's actually even a little easier because I've got this nice big drain tube that I can pull off to the side and I can put that wherever I want, put my drain pan down, drain that oil. Um, the actual oil filter is housed on the other side, um, but my dipstick is on this side and I have the ability to add oil right there in that same compartment. Um, the air filter is really nice and easy to get into. It's got a, cy a cyclonic air filtration system, so a little bit more breathability, uh, a little bit more filtration going on with that. Um, easy access to the battery compartment, uh, easy access to the fuel filter. Um, I've got all of my service intervals that are kind of written right up here on the hood, so that kind of keeps me into check when I'm actually gonna do all those service intervals, so that's really nice. Talking about that hood, a nice, well-integrated John Deere design. Very, very visible from miles away that this is a John Deere piece of equipment. Um, got the beautiful uh, yellow striping that kind of links up with the rest of our uh, John Deere lineup. So that looks kind of more like our bigger tractors. You've got a nice wide open grill. So I have great airflow throughout the engine compartment, which is really nice. Uh, got an integrated bumper up here that's that's stamped into this this welded steel frame. Um, that frame rigidity is really what's going to kind of be the backbone of this machine. It really sets it apart, you know, makes it that X series mower as opposed to those S series. This frame is even more rigid. rigid. Um, and then John Deere is going to back that up with the warranty. So you're going to have that four-year uh, powertrain and, and um, machine warranty uh, that it's going to go all the way out to 300 hours if you need it. So, uh, but that frame rigidity is really nice. What that is also going to do for you is if you can imagine that that frame is so much more rigid than any other product on our, uh, you know, out there, that it's going to allow the belt to not move nearly as much. Um, and so what that does is it, it just extends the life of the belt. And so that's one of the nice things about these deer products is, you know, they've done the engineering, they've done the, they've done the work so that that those you know, wearable items, because belts will eventually break on any machine, uh, they will just last longer, which is a really nice feature. Um, let's talk a little bit more about that deck while we're talking about that. So a uh, 48 inch deck offer, offered on this particular one. You got a 10 gauge steel deck on here. Uh, you've got easy access to the spindles, the sides of the spindles, we've got Zerk fittings, so I can maintain this machine very simply and easily. Uh, talking about maintenance, I have the ability to rotate these wheels off to the side. You do not get that on the 42 inch deck, uh, but the 42 inch deck is quite a bit more manageable than, than say this big, bigger, heavier 48 inch deck. Um, so I can move those wheels off to the side, uh, just turn them out to the side and then be able to disconnect my belts and wheel that whole deck right out to the side, which is a really nice feature. Uh, big, wide openings on the sides, you know, can be outfitted with a mulch kit. So I have the one touch mulch control so I can have a mulch kit on here. I can have an MCS, a bagging system on the side of this thing, or I can just have the nice conventional side discharge. Um, that big opening is gonna lend itself to great cut quality, uh, great grass dispersion out there. Um, and so it's gonna just make, your, your make, make the mowing process a lot nicer and make that yard look a lot nicer as well. You know, John Deere's known for their twin touch pedals, you know, easy forward and reverse functions. So this one is no different. We've got twin touch pedals on here. Uh, and we've got the parking brake that's really easily set. So just pressing down and pulling up on that uh, brake or pushing down um, just re to release it. 
Uh, simple, easy to control ignition system. Uh, one click up is uh, lights. One next click up is the regular run position. Uh, the next click up is gonna be the actual ignition to turn it on and it's spring loaded to go back to regular operating position. Um, and then just right back over to stop if I need to. Uh, electronic PTO engagement. So that's what's gonna engage the PTO on this. So if I'm running my, um, if I'm running a, a, the, the blades on here, all I have to do is pull up on that. That will actually start the blades really simply uh, electronic controls. Uh, I've got a cruise control feature right there. And then you saw me work the park brake just a little bit ago. Uh, throttle controls are on the opposite side. Uh, turtle is to go slower, uh, rabbits to go faster. I have a choke that is spring loaded on the side of that particular one. So I can just press up if I need that cold weather starting or haven't started it in a while, just choke up real quick, let go, it's spring loaded, it will go back to regular operating procedures. Um, down below that, I've got the mow and reverse button. Um, so if I need to mow and reverse, I just press that before I press the reverse pedal and that will allow me to mow and reverse. Um, up, I have a shipping transport mower lift on there. So if I pull that up, uh, integrated with my leg on this side, that will lock the deck all the way up. If I wanna go down into my regular mowing positions, all I have to do is choose the dial, select what height that I want my deck to go to um, while that is up and turn it into there and then unlock it and it will go right down. So right now it's set to 2.5 inches. Uh, so this is approximately 2.5 inches um, that we would be out there mowing with. Uh, and then I could just lock that buck up if I'm traveling to and from my garage, um, makes it nice and easy to, to transport. Let's talk about the seat. We've got a 15 inch uh, high back seat on this particular one. Nice, comfortable, um, done a nice job of making it pretty, pretty impervious to the weather. Um, I will say we do sell some seat covers and stuff like that. That'll get you a little bit extended life out of these seats. Um, but you've got nice control so I can move this seat forward and aft very simply. Um, just by pressing the lever towards the inside. Um, it does fold up, so if I'm gonna keep this machine outside, I can push this seat up, have it stored, um, so I'm not getting a lot of debris and water on that seat, and it keeps it nice out of the weather. Uh, underneath, I've got the ability to move some springs back both forward or aft, depending on you know how much dinner I eat, uh, because that's gonna be set for your specific weight. Um, right now they're set in the center, um, so that kind of just jack of all trades. Chances are I'm probably gonna need it to be set all the way back because I'm a little bit bigger of a guy. Um, got a deck um, leveling kit underneath here. It's nice to have the John Deere kind of includes that in there. If I ever had my deck come off kilter or something like that, I have the ability to adjust it. So this tool, along with these holes, along with your manual, make sure you read it, will kind of give you how to actually set the level. Um, if you buy one of these machines from Pape Machinery, that's gonna be set from our uh, trained technicians when it goes through its pre-delivery inspection process. So the PDI will take care of all that. It's gonna be checked. Uh, on my right hand side, I've got nice uh, cup holder. So uh, easy access uh, to keeping me hydrated. And then I also have easy access to whatever I wanna keep protected because I have some covered storage right here. Uh, can keep most cell phones or anything like that, your keys uh, and whatnot. On the other side, I've got my fuel filler cap. So nice exposed fuel filler cap. Very nice uh, to have a big opening. Um, it's a tethered cap, so it won't you won't lose the cap, which is also nice. In my actual foot wells and foot compartment, I've got some nice rubber padding that will keep me isolated from some of the vibration uh, that I'm going over, you know, bumps, bruises, terrain, that kind of stuff. That'll help keep me um, controlled. And it's also nice for a place to keep your muddy feet if you need to, and so it's keeping it off that beautiful green paint. Um, in the back, I've got a integrated trailer tow hitch um, so that's nice. I can put a, a trailer on the back of this. I can pull a spreader. I can pull a core aerator if I wanted to. So all those parts uh, are available from our, our team. So you can put all those kind of implements and attachments on the back of this guy. Um, let's talk about transmission. So in this particular one, we have a K46 transmission, a nice rugged transmission. Uh, it's a Kanzaki unit. Uh, it's gonna give you travel speeds of about 5.5 miles per hour. Um, and then obviously mowing speeds up to that as well. Um, decent sized tires on the back of these guys. You got a 20 by 10 by eight on the back and then a 15 by six by six in the front. Um, 
Additionally, if I wanted to disengage that hydrostatic transmission, I have a pull lever in the back that will allow me to push the machine forward and aft just by pulling that lever. So that's also nice. One more thing that I forgot to mention on this deck, we've got a nice good washout port. So all the John Deere decks nowadays are coming with these washout ports. Just connect that to my hose bib. And then I go ahead and I connect it on with my water running. I jump on my machine. I run it for approximately 60 seconds. That gets a lot of the material of the wash uh, that, that sits kind of under the deck. You don't want that sitting in the off season. So it'll get it kind of washed out. So that's a nice thing. I would always recommend though, you know, water, metal, probably not the greatest things to, to mix. Um, so taking a blower or an air hose and kind of um, dry that out afterwards, um, just a tip. Uh, I'm not telling you have to, but it's probably a good idea to extend the life of the machine. Great features, wonderful machine, great warranty, great price point. Um, you know, just a really, really, really sound, robust machine. Sell a ton of these. You know, there's a lot of customers out there that still love that American made Briggs and Stratton. Um, so you can get that in the X series, which is really nice. Uh, if you've got any questions, please reach out. Thanks for joining us. Hi, my name is Jason Hughes. I'm a territory manager out of Eugene, Oregon. I'm also a large property owner and own a lot of the equipment that you see featured in these videos. I hope you find this content helpful. If you have any questions, please comment below.